Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory to the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to you, sincere brothers out there pushing this truth and sincerity. To you, sisters that's playing your part in this ministry, Shalom to you and to the Israelite foreigners. I want to make a quick video. You know, I'm in transit right now, ready to uh, come to plantation. But um, I know that, I know that brothers is, um, you know, it's not easy, brothers. I know that we all got our problems, you know. We all going through our own, our own personal uh, trials. Every one of us you know, ha have different burdens on us. We all have our own personal relationship with Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. And we, um, we all have different lots, you know? So this message goes to you, brothers. Whatever you're going through, you know, just know that Yahweh Bashim Yahushai understands and, un and knows the pain and the suffering that you're going through for this ministry, for this truth, for the sake of Yahab Bashim Yahushai. You know, your family may look at you different, your friends, when you out there in the highways and byways, you know, they may scoff at you, uh, suck their teeth, look at you wrongly. But this was this was part of the territory. This is what we signed for. And, and we believe in the scriptures through the faith of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. So we're going to go through it. You know? So let me go to the first scripture. Uh, matter of fact, let's go to the book of 2nd Ezra. <clears throat> 7 and 7. And it reads, The earth. The entrance thereof is narrow and is set in a dangerous place to fall, like as if there were a fire on the right hand and on the left a deep water. So this is symbolic to this journey we're in, brothers. You know, it is very serious business that only you are able to walk through by yourself. You know, you're going to you're going to have to fight for your salvation on your own. Now, nevertheless, the scriptures say come for one another with these scriptures, counsel one another, be brothers. You know, while we're still uh, in this flesh, we need to help one another. But you are only going to be capable of fighting for this salvation on your own. And this fire and water represents the trials we're going to go through and how hard they may be. But don't grow weary. We have the spirit of Yahabashim Yahushai. We have the truth, brothers. And whatever you're going through, keep pushing. You know? Verse 8. And one only path between them both, even between the fire and the water. So small that there could but one man go there at once. You understand? So, brothers, you know, at times we get discouraged because we live in this wicked-ass flesh. And this flesh continuously likes to, uh, 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 what can I say? It continues likes to attack us. You know, we got... We're going through a spiritual battle. And as much as we grow spiritually through Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, guess what? You're going to start getting attacked by these spirits, these demons playing on your mind. You know what I'm saying? Trying to make you feel guilty. You know, trying to throw you off the path. But we got to go straight, the straight path, brother. You know, the straight gate, you know, like the scripture says. So we got to continue on that path, brothers. You know, 
This is my next scripture. 1 Peter 4 and 12. Beloved, thinking not strings concerning the fury trial, which is to try you. You see, brothers, think it not strange. So sometimes what we're going through, it might seem a little strange. Like, yeah, man, why the hell is this happening to me? Why, why, why this weird shit is happening? You know, it's a lot from my language, but that's what we're going to go through because we're actually being refined. We're being tested. We're being hardened because what's coming, brothers, is some wicked, evil times. That's why the book of Ephesians 5 and 15 say, um, uh, uh, be be wise and circumspect because of the times to, to because the times are evil, you know, because we're going to approach a time that regular men are going to faint. They're going to go crazy. People are people are going to look for answers. They're going to go left and right looking for answers and they're not going to find it. They're going to go crazy out here. But we men. Through the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man, through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, we're, we're being tested and refined now, hardened, suffering. So we can be ready. We're going to be relaxed. We're going to be calm when these things happen because we know the prophecies. We know the scriptures. So, like the scriptures said, beloved, thinking not strange concerning the fury trial, which is to try you as though some strange thing happened unto you. But rejoice, but rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Christ Hamashiach's sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. So when, when, when Yahweh Shai returns, man, you know, in his grand glory, we also going to be heirs and partakers of his glory. So we're going to rejoice. Just like he suffered, we're going to suffer. But don't grow weary, brothers. My next scripture, Acts 14 and 22. Confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith. And that we must, through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of God. See that? So we're going to go through tribulation. We're going to go through these trials, brothers. Stay strong. You know? We got to go through this in order to enter into the kingdom. You know, Baruch 425, my children who the Israelites suffer patiently, you see, suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from the most high. Yahweh for thy enemy have persecuted thee, but shortly thou shalt see his destruction and shall tread upon his neck. That's right. Yahweh, our Lord, is coming, our Savior, to take this devil down. And we're going to be partakers of this kingdom. Lord willing, we're part of that number so we can be part of that first dominion. You know? And we're going to tread upon this devil's neck, man. Just like he put us in slavery, we're going to put him in slavery. The Most High Yahweh, Hashim Yahweh, says beautiful in his ways. The master chess player. All right? Luke 21 and 36. I'm going to end it with this one. And this is from the voice of Yahweh Shai himself. Watch ye therefore and pray always. Try to pray as much as you can. Pray in season. And that, you, and that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that should come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. So this is our ultimate goal right here. That we through, through through much tribulation and suffering, patiently, through the trials that we can endure to the end, that we may be worthy when Yahweh Shai comes, that we may be worthy and found worthy in his eyes and the Father, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, and get delivered and exempt from the judgment, man. You know, and stand in the in the, in the face of the Son of Man, man. All praises to the most high, Yahweh. Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem, Rakakadash, Shalom, brothers.